Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. I'm going to announce right now the winner of the $100 gift card to nerdgears.com. I mentioned this yesterday and a whole bunch of you guys put your comments down in this video, uh, yesterday's video. So the title was When Altcoin Season and there was about 186 comments here. Everyone left a positive comment about something and I really enjoyed reading every single one. Uh, you guys are, are, are really awesome and uh, I really I really enjoy this community and I, I hope I give you guys value and I'm, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep making videos every day so thank you guys so much. This was just a little tiny giveaway for my, for my 9,000 subscriber giveaway pretty much. So now let's go ahead and go to commonpicker.com. I'm going to copy the URL here, uh, random YouTube comment picker, paste the YouTube, get YouTube comments. Okay, so amount unique commenters, there's 156. Now YouTube showed 186, so I think there might have been some people that might have might have multiple YouTube accounts, <laughs> but that's okay. At least uh, comment picker was able to figure that out, I guess by IP address. So we're going to hit start. And who's the winner is Ace K. Yes, Ace K. You got a comment here. Brought three people up on board and would like to see Red Panda get the 1660 Super to grow his mining shed. Yes, Ace K. Thank you so much, man. Congrats. You are the winner of the $100 gift card to nerdgears.com. So, Ace K, if you are watching this right now, Please contact me on Discord or email me. Uh, my email's in the description, and uh, I can give you the code for the hundred bucks for NerdGears.com. And for those that don't know, NerdGears.com is a e-tailer for selling crypto mining hardware, such as graphic cards, as you guys can see here, RX 470s, Sapphire Nitros. Let's see, P102-100 mining cards right now. Uh, these are in Canadian prices. I'd say most of you guys are in the U.S. But really great prices, best prices anywhere right now for crypto mining hardware, power supplies, ASIC miners, mining bundles, a whole bunch of stuff here. Guys, go check out nerdgears.com and Ace K, congratulations. I hope to hear from you real soon so that you can buy something on Nerd Gears. Okay guys, on to the video. That was a little bit long, I'm sorry. So what I really wanted to talk about today, I'm going to keep this really short, is the G Miner 1.71 has just uh, released the, an update for mining uh, Ethereum or ETHash algorithm, okay? Now their fee is 0.065%. Now some of you guys may be wondering what are the fees for the other miners and that is actually on par with Phoenix Miner. Phoenix Miner has 0.65 as well but Claymore Miner is 1% for, for cards that are over 4 gigabytes of VRAM uh, if you have anything less than 4 gigabytes of VRAM, then it is actually free. There's no dev fee. So depending on what cards you have, what kind of what kind of uh, what coin you're mining, because ETHash obviously for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic is above 3 gigabytes. So you would need at least a 4 gigabyte card in order to mine on Claymore. But I'm not going to talk about those miners. I'm talking about G Miner here, because G Miner was notoriously a Miner for like Equihash or you know Grin or Kakaroo 29, Kaka 31, you know these kind of algorithms. Equihash mainly Beam, and but they just added ETHash, and this is just for Nvidia cards only, okay? Uh, not for AMD cards, okay? But I'm gonna test this out. I've already already got a uh, machine running here. I'll show you guys, and actually I'm testing it out on two GTX 1060s. These are the Gigabyte Extreme Editions. Uh, they are overclocked from the factory, so I'm actually not able to get a little bit better efficiency on these cards. But let me let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here. So uh, right now on G Miner, uh, there is let's see here. You guys can see uh, there's a good layout here for like the temperatures, uh, just figuring out which GPU has what, the mega hash, um, shares, power power and efficiency as well so really really good stuff from G Miner here I mean they show this stuff for the other algorithms as well before so 
they've had this before. But for Ethereum uh, mining Ethash here, it looks it looks pretty good. So you guys can see I'm already getting accepted shares. Uh, each of my 1060s right now I have clocked. Uh, specifically because these are the extreme edition cards from Gigabyte, so they're overclocked from factory. I forgot I mentioned that. So I bring <laughs> I bring my power limit all the way down to 50 in MSI Afterburner, uh, minus 200 core and plus 800 memory. And with with G Miner, I'm able to get 25.19 mega hash per card. As you guys can see here, I have two of them running right now. Uh, at the wall, you guys can see uh, total system wattage is about 235 watts, and the voltage, yeah, 120 volt, about 2 amps. So, not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, I would say, because this G Miner cannot mine AMD cards, um, obviously those people, will, will, you guys will have to stick with uh, Claymore or Phoenix Miner for that. But, I think... Um, uh, now I just want to talk about would I be using G Miner for mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic? Uh, I don't think so, and the reasoning is because with Claymore version 15, I'm actually able to get 26 to 27 mega hash on these cards. Okay, so on my cards here, on my 1060s, I'm able to get to up to 27 mega hash using Claymore version 15. The the dev fee is a little bit higher, right? One one percent versus 0.65. Uh, for G minor, but yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna stick with G minor if I was to use my 1060s for mining Ethereum. Uh, but I don't use my 1060s to mine Ethereum or Ethash coins. Uh, but I'm I'm not sure if some of you guys do. Um, it is it is actually probably the most profitable right now in terms of uh, for 1060s, I believe at the moment. Yeah, Ethash algorithms. So. But 1070s, 1080s, I'm sure they'll work in, in G minor as well. I did have someone in Discord report that the um, the uh, G minor was actually uh, reporting more power consumption than Claymore. Okay, so that's that's something to look out for. G minor doesn't have the dash straps. Okay, so there's no there's no there's no thing here where you can uh, get the timings unlike uh, Claymore miner here. So that's just another thing, maybe why not to use this uh, this miner, G miner. But interesting, uh, interesting that G miner has now gone into the ETHash algorithm, uh, and uh, a lot of coins can mine on a lot of uh, Nvidia cards now can mine on this. Not that they have, they couldn't already on Claymore. But anyways, guys, I think that's all I wanted to leave it with you guys with G miner, just to give you guys some little updates here. Uh, about crypto mining, I, I love doing this stuff. And uh, but congrats to Ace K for the hundred dollar gift card to Nerd Gear. So Ace K, please give me a shout out, uh, give me a message anywhere that you can, Twitter, Discord, Gmail, email. I, I would love to hear from you real soon so I can get you to use that card on Nerd Gears. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down below. I gotta say again, I. I just hit 9,000 subscribers and uh, I, I'm still going up at 9,060 right now. I, I'm going to do a really big giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. Make sure you click on the notification bell and click on all so that you guys get all of the notifications of when I release a video. So stay tuned for that my friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.